That stove was heavy. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that much. That thing this was road is pretty rough, especially going around this turn right here. Uh, my little my 12 foot trailer would have had a hard time making it through here. Check that out right there. Move it. I'm so happy we have the little tilt trailer. Those things come in handy. Get the uh, you said the carpet down here, these boxes. Yeah. Did you want the chairs gone? Uh, I'm gonna keep these. All right. I want this gone. That piece of furniture. All right, we'll take that. Uh, I got a job up in Elizabethan after this. I got to get to. Okay. So, I got it's just a single. Well, it's two items. It's a it's a recliner and then a wood burning stove. But the wood burning stove it's like three or four hundred pounds. So, uh -huh. not something I can do. On my, you want to drop it? Uh, you can drop it; it'll break. It's it's fine with me. Uh, yeah, it's it's trash. Okay, ready? One, two, three. That's how we do it. Can't park can't park. Yeah. So where do you? So we got some. Looks like some wood panels, cardboard boxes, chair, old Ryobi battery charger, I guess. Um, weed eater, some rugs. A little shoe rack, some carpet. What else do we got? Oh, we got another suitcase. And then the customer does want this automatic adjustable bed frame gone with the mattress. And we got these two stands to take. And I think that will be all set. We got this big pile all picked up. And we just had the van. And I'm glad I did not bring the trailer because there's a very... Uh, big lip to get into the driveway that I would it would probably pinch the trailer so that would have been pretty difficult but you can see we got everything in here uh, that's packed pretty tight uh, so yeah we got all this stuff picked up here for the customer and we got the uh, mattress and the adjustable bed frame along with those two nightstands removed for the customer as well so That'll be it for this job. And now we're gonna head over to Elizabethan to take care of that wood burning stove and a recliner. Yes, we got the recliner. So here's that lip that I was telling you about when you come in. It doesn't look bad, but when you get down to it, I don't know, sometimes those trailers want to pinch, but it probably would have made it up, but got it all in there anyways, no problem, so. It's nice not having to pull the trailer when you don't have to. But yeah, it's hot out here. I'm sweating. Work still or no? The stove? What's that? Does the stove work at all or no? Because you sent a picture with a pizza. What's that? You sent me a picture with a pizza. A pizza? Yeah. And I saw this spot here and I was like, maybe he maybe he made pizza. Maybe he wanted to serve I sent us. You a picture with a pizza. Yeah, I was like, maybe he wants to serve us lunch <laughs> while we're here. Maybe I, mean, I know we're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll get this piece down here, and then we'll, uh, we'll... All right. We're able to get the trailer right up to the door. And let's grab this one. Woo! You live here by yourself, Ron? Are you married, kids? All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So, how'd you find me? Just online? Found you online. Like you were the ass. only one that answered the phone. Really? <laughs> you were <laughs> you number four. Online. You were number four online, and okay. But you were the only one that answered. Everybody else's mailbox is full, and nobody answered the phone. So you called some of the other guys then too. I didn't talk to anybody. That's fine. That's all right. Hey, we're here. We got it done. You're here. You got it done. Same day. Look at that. Same day service. That stove was heavy. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that much. That thing was probably at least a good solid 450. It took three of us just to move it. I'm so happy we have the little tilt trailer. Those things come in handy. Uh, 
especially when you can pull right up to the door. Uh, it saved us on a number of jobs having that little tilt trailer. I'm trying to back up and not hit this guy's car's house. So I'm gonna put you down for a second. All right, so now we're gonna head to the scrap yard and drop it off. And check this out, this house, it's back here. And uh, this road is pretty rough, especially going around this turn right here. Uh, my little my 12 foot trailer would have had a hard time making it through here. Check that out right there. Oof, that's nasty. That'll do some damage on your vehicle uh, so if you're not careful. Uh, and here we are going out. So uh, we actually have some more work for us. Uh, there's two sofas in the house that he wants us to remove. So we told him to come out uh, next week. Uh, he's just not ready for it right now. He has to save up the money or get the money or whatever. So I just think, hey, give us a call. We'll come out and uh, take care of it for you. So that's it for now. We're going to go to the scrapyard, drop that big stove off. And uh, that'll be it for today. We're here at the scrapyard. Going to have the claw. Going to have the claw pick up the cast iron wood burning stove. Okay. And the edge. And just like that, she's all done. That's it. Looking easy. So now I'm gonna go unload my van from that previous job.